in this tutorial we are going to continue our bitwise operator and we are going to learn about left shift operator in our previous session we have seen about right shift operator and also we have seen some of the trick how to solve right shift operator okay as i told you right shift operator when we are making c symbol in our right hand side this symbol will be represented like this okay in the same way in the same direction how we are making the c and this bits will be moved from left to right and also we have seen based on our body position the bits will be moved so this is our left side and this is our right side so from left the bits will be moved to right like this it will be moved and this lsb bit will be removed in right shift okay this right hand side this right hand side bit itself it will be removed now in the same way we are going to learn about left shift operator and also the trick is same okay when we are making c symbol in our left hand side okay the c symbol whichever the mouth is opening so the symbol will be represented like this for left shift operator and here the bits will be moved from right to left okay this arrow will be coming inside this one right to left and this already i told you this right and left position is our body position i will just show you here i am having the screen for this screen this will be the right side and this will be the left side but when we are using this screen this will be our right side and this will be our left side so we have seen for left shift operator it will be moved from right to left so it depends on our body position okay this is our right so it will be moved like this right to left but when we used right shift operator it was moving from left to right for left shift right to left okay it is just reverse of that and in right shift operator we have seen lsb bits were getting removed but in this left shift operator msb most significant bits will be removed and this will be moving in this position okay this position it is just going to shift okay this is the only basic difference between left shift and right shift operation in right shift we used to move from left to right and lsb bits were getting removed but in left shift we will be moving from right to left and bits will be removed from msb okay this is the basic difference if you understand this difference then it will be very easy for you to solve this left shift and right shift now this is the binary number of 5 and let me just solve this i just want to move one bit so this will be moving in this position and this particular bit will be removed so this one will come here then we have 0 then 1 1 2 3 4 4 zeros 2 3 4 and at the end we will be adding one zero here okay as this bit is moved this side one place will be remaining so we will be adding zero here and this most significant bit will be removed from here okay now our answer should be this is our this will be 2 and this is 8 so 8 plus 2 the answer should be 10 okay we have 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 so this represents 2 power 0 this is 2 power 1 so the answer will be 2 here this is 2 power 3 0 2 power this is 2 power 2 0 Two power three is eight. Eight plus two, the answer should be ten. Okay, hope you understood this one. Whenever we are using this left shift operator, the bits will be moving from right to left. Okay, this right position is nothing but our body position. 
right to left our body position and symbols will be represented like this on our left hand when we make c symbol whichever side the mouth is getting open the symbol will be represented like this and bits will be moved from right to left and this right to left is nothing but our body position now let's see this example 10 and we just have to move by two bits so as i told you msb will be removed so we will be moving this like this okay we are just going to move to left side i will just write here 0 1 0 1 0 0 and at the starting we will be adding two bits here because two bits we are just going to shift let me just check 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 okay this will be our answer now we are going to solve this problem and also we are going to see trick on this for 3 i have just converted this into binary number now i am just moving to two positions so this will be removed now my answer will be 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 okay two bits i have removed now for this i just have to move by one bit so this will be removed so from here i'm just going to write everything 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 at the end i will be adding 1 0 and now three bits i just have to shift so three bits i will be removing from here 1 1 0 0 0 and three bits i just have to add here now for this our answer is 3 this one our answer will be 12 because 8 plus 4 i will get as 12 and for this one i will be getting this this is 8 and this is 16 16 plus 8 i will be getting 24 and finally for this one we should be getting the answer as 192 okay now how we are getting this okay now we are going to solve one trick okay we have seen by shifting the bits also you will get the answer in when we studied about right shift operator we have seen the trick okay that is we were dividing the number but for left shift operator we will multiply the numbers okay left shift lm we will do we will do multiplication now here i am having three and two positions i have moved so two steps i am just going to perform i will just come down so 3 into 2 first step 3 into 2 i will get as 6 and second step is 6 into 2 i will get the answer as 12 okay this is the answer i got now for this 12 only one time i just have to multiply okay and always we will be multiplying with 2 2 is equal to 24 this is the answer and for this 24 three times i have to multiply 24 into 2 i will get the answer as 48 then 48 into 2 i will get as 96 and then finally 96 into 2 i should be getting the answer as 192 96 into 2 answer is 192 okay this is how by using multiplication we will be getting the answer but what happens this trick will not be used every time suppose again if i just write here one more incident i will come down a is equal to a uh, right a left shift by 2 now for this what happens this one bits you can see this one bits will be removed and all will be zero my answer becomes a zero but when i multiply with this one with two steps into two again if i multiply with two the answer i am getting is 768 but here i got the answer as zero because here one bits are fallen down from msb this one bits are gone so i am getting the answer as zero so all the time this trick is not going to help so you can find okay you can use this particular trick shifting the positions and you will get the answer
okay you can use this bit itself moving this bits and removing this two bits from here okay this is all about left shift operator so don't get confused right right shift and left shift operator are opposite of each other okay this is the symbol of right shift and it will be moving from left to right okay this position depends on our body position so this side okay left to right so this will be our body position in right shift this lsb okay right side itself it will be removed that is least significant bit in our body side right side bit itself it will be removed and also i have given you this problem as homework if you have done well and good if you have not done you can just practice by yourself and you will get the result this is left shift operator okay this is the symbol and it will be moving from right to left okay this is nothing but our body position our body position and in this this and in this left shift msb bits will be removed and this bits will be added in lsb and whether it is 0 or 1 always 0 will be added in lsb okay this also we have seen we have solved this problem and also we have seen this trick but this trick is not going to apply all the time okay it will be failing at one time and this it will be solved using xor operator okay if you want to learn more about computer programming more about this gates xor gate and gate or gate then you can go into this but as of now you don't have to go deeply into this and you don't have to understand how we connect xor gate okay you really don't have to get into that okay as of now you just have to understand the basic concept of right shift and left shift and you just have to get the result okay practically also if you do you will be getting the same result here i am having 5 2 this is the left shift and when i do i will get the answer as 2 because 5 into 2 10 again 10 into 2 i will be getting 20 two times i'm just going to perform multiplication I will get the answer as 20. Okay, this also if you want, you can just execute in VS Code Editor and you will get the result. And also one more thing you should remember, it also depends on the bits. Here I am using 8 bits. Maybe if you are using 32 bits, the answer will not be 0. The answer will be 768 itself. Okay, that also you should be very careful on which bits on how many bits javascript is working but while theory when we are performing on 8 bits we will get the answer as 0 if we are using 16 bit or 32 bit the answer will be 768 okay that also you should keep in mind when i execute in vs code editor i will be getting the answer as 768 because in our bitwise operator section we have already seen javascript will be working on 32 bits so after this also we will be adding more zeros here 32 bits and when we move this one okay it will come to this position and we will get the answer as 768 okay theoretically we have just performed here and we have just worked on 8 bits so when we are working on 8 bits we will get the answer as 0 okay that also you should be very careful on how many bits we are going to perform this action okay this is all about left shift and right shift operator hope you understood this trick and this tricks will be very useful to remember this symbols and also to know which position these bits are getting moved okay next session we are going to learn more about javascript and we are going to understand more concepts on javascript